we present Threads of Influence, textiles from the 2nd to the 20th century. This wide-ranging small group of works we have assembled are united by their interplay of design influences from across the globe and by their role as symbols of power, authority and social status. Together, they form a fascinating story on the social history of their time and on the importance and impact of world trade going back for nearly two millennia. This late 18th century Chinese painted silk palampur, thought to have been made for the English market, is one of the very few surviving examples of design influences between India, China and Western Europe. It borrows the format of the painted chintz palampur produced on the Coromandel coast for the West, but it is executed in the vivid palette perfected in the silk painting workshops of Canton. It is in spectacular condition and forms a pair to one in colonial Williamsburg, acquired from Mallorca's in the 1950s. This late 16th century Ottoman velvet from the famous Charles Graton collection employs Italianate motifs such as the crown, which is indicative of the close relationship between these two important weaving centres. A rare group of four silk embroidery fragments with Dionysian themes gives us an insight into the intersection of cultures along the Silk Road between the 2nd and 4th century AD. Close inspection of these embroideries reveals how masterful their design and execution was. They lure you in. We were excited to find a large medieval tapestry fragment, perhaps from a throne canopy. Thought to have been woven in Northern Europe and dating to the second quarter of the 15th century, the entire tapestry must have originally been monumental and of elegant and strong design. A plant with spiky foliage resembling a cardoon impales inverted coronets while single peacock feathers float. We believe there would have been a series of cardoon stems fanning out from the top each stem ending in their flower head. Few of these tapestries survive today, and we have yet to find examples in contemporary manuscript painting. The 19th century in Europe witnessed masterful feats of weaving, such as this Nuru's shawl, woven with 101,000 jacquard cards and 12 different color weft threads. The design is repeated mirror image both lengthwise and across the width of the shawl. It was designed by Jean-Baptiste Amédée Couder and woven by Gauzin Aîné Essy for the Exposition des Produits de l'Industrie Française in 1839 where it won a gold medal and was acquired by the Duke and Duchess of Orléans. The few examples known today were woven on a white ground, while ours is yellow, not only imparting a sense of richness and warmth, but it is thought to be unique. The extraordinary mix of designs from Iran, India and Andalusia convey a Westerner's dream of exoticism. These two palapai, or ship cloths, from southern Sumatra belong to the great collector San Jacetovitz, and had been on long-term loan to the Indianapolis Museum of Art. These ceremonial textiles were woven by women in discontinuous supplementary wefts, sometimes with a few metallic yarns for highlights. They required weaving skills and patience that staggers the imagination and are considered to be among the most remarkable weavings ever made in the Indonesian archipelago. They were owned by high-ranking members of the community and they were displayed at so-called life crisis events such as birth, marriage and death. Their visual impact is immediate, even for the uninitiated. This is a selection. We hope to welcome you at our gallery in Dover Street.